two one. Either he busts the board or he has to right. hit. Up in the race. Yeah, yeah they're up the in the board. race. Red with a five two. He'll leave that checker at the back and strengthen his home board. Turning it into a five point board. I'm not sure about the slot. Wow, volunteer that, huh? Three two. Oh, hit and cover. Two six from the bar. It's a horrible number. I've seen it happen. Four and one. Okay. Four one. Double five. Play safely. Three to two looks. Uh, three to two is a candidate. They're all candidate plays, really. Switch. I think three to two allows the double cover next time. Yeah. <coughs> well, this is in this is incredible stuff. This is this is really going to the wire, Carter. Suddenly, the Danes. They've got a number of rolls. Next roll, which, which could easily yeah, double six, double yeah. five, will probably lock up this game for them. Double fours too, and these, some of these fly shots. If you can just avoid that one hit, and this looks like the best play to me, keeping their goalkeeper, let's call him, uh, twelve away from the checkers that are about to be forced off that point. Well, no, he can roll four three. Five, four. Okay. Oh, so, yeah, yeah there are right. four, three, and five, four. Some certainly, ugly numbers. Certainly a lot to think about. Oh, four, one. This is, this Ow. Is one of their worst. And this could be a coffin nail, Carter. <laughs> yeah. Are we about to see a new nation take four, this one. great yeah. World Series of Backgammon one. event, it's the Nations Cup, <laughs> the Party Gammon, Nations Cup, Looks to me like it's heading for America. Yeah, the Americans are definitely smiling big on this roll. And they have switched back to Danish. <laughs> well, they don't. Uh, the Americans don't have a bad number here. No, they don't. I mean, despite the fact that they are uh, actually considerably behind in the race, according to the pip count, I can't see that they've got a bad number. Of, uh, maybe four three would be a, would be a shocker. I suppose any missing number is a bad number here. Right, but they're going to be—they're going to be a monster favorite to hit, and and a monster favorite to even if they miss one time, possibly get that next checker. Ah. Okay. Here it comes. Here it comes. Fives and twos and tens to hit. Five two. Hits, bottom, ouch! Hits, ouch! Bottom, both. Bottom both. <laughs> Okay. And what a critical play that was. If the Danes had played the ace the other way, which may or may not have been correct, they would have been missed, and now they would be hugely ahead in this race. Now they're... They've got Five percent. It's amazing how fast those percentages oh. swing. Oh, and a fan. Sanders praying. He comes in. And he keeps his board. Somehow these guys are <laughs> nice. surviving. He likes it. He knows what they've just done. Oh, and again. fan again. What a beautiful what, time. What has happened here? This is impossible what's happening here. He brings them both out with a hit. Oh no. my god. What happened to him? <laughs> America's and They had their hands on the cup, Carter, and it's all oh, gone wrong. No, he's both entered both in, checkers. Both in, both in key. Even so, they're an underdog here. Three, two. Three, yep. two. Again, they need to enter. Wow. It's almost a 50-50. Now he needs a good number to bring at least one checker home or uh, make a point somewhere. Three, uh, two. Keep them ah, together. The three is so hard. He's got to come in range here. This is a yes, tough group. Boy, I'll tell you. Oh, this wow. Is, this, is, this is a horror. <laughs> and the Americans are back to smiling. What would we dance? Twice or three times? I don't remember. It was I think it was twice. <laughs> America's letting them know they got lucky to get this far. Ow. Well, unless I'm missing something, Carter, the only way they can avoid leaving a double shot is if they bust the board. And uh, the board is not exactly a thing of beauty as it is at the moment, but they don't want to break it any further. So I think they're going to, they're going to have to volunteer a double shot here. Yeah, it's painful, but there's the three-point board is your only hope right now. And just on this one roll, the match has swung hugely back in the Americans' favour. 
Uh, I thought for a minute the Danes were going to uh, tunnel out of that situation. They had two checkers on the roof, a five-point board, um, only approximately a 30% chance of entering one checker. They managed to enter both checkers in two rolls, uh, whilst the Americans stayed on the bar with one checker against the three-point board. Sander isn't just a good player, he's also a good roller here, John. He definitely pulled himself out of the fire, but this is this is going to be hard. Do you think some people are better rollers than others, Carter? Oh, I'm looking at one right now, John. <laughs> you mean I'm a bad roller? <laughs> Everybody knows that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Crunch Fours down. and twos to hit. Two. It's a four. Oh. It's a four. I see why they make that play. They duplicated the fours to hit with the fours to cover in board. But how's he going to play this six, Carter? Uh, I think you just give him the ace because you've got those double shot returns. Three, one, three, four. Okay. This needs to be hit. It's oh, a miss. bad time to fan. Not even money to cover this blot on the three-point, and it'll be over. And there Covered it is. Covered and oh. hit. Oh. The hit may well be wrong here. Um, not I necessary to hit another checker. They're not looking to win a gammon. They only need two points from this match. Uh, uh, people always tend to scoop these blots up, and it's usually a mistake uh, we don't really uh, want to hit that extra checker. So Sorry to mention that. But, uh, <laughs> hey, what are you trying to change my game? <laughs> Well, somebody has to, Carter. <laughs> uh, this is this is this is game. You need some really horrific roll from the Americans to leave a shot. And the and crowd, they know it's over. The only way that Yellow can win this game realistically is if he hits a shot in the bear off. Uh, the skill now for Red is to arrange their checkers in such a way that none of their numbers will leave a shot. They need to pull these off, and they need to. This is this this game is two in the air. This game is going to be in a three-point crunch board, John. I hate this game. I've won them. <laughs> oh yeah, these games can be won, and you can see already the shot-leaving potential. And this is why it was probably an error to hit that second blot. Sometimes it's that second blot. Oh, oh five, perfect three. off. Yeah. Lovely smooth board yeah. now. They just want to let them come in as fast as they can while pulling off checkers. Oh, another problem. One, another difficult number. Uh, I think he should take a checker off and leave the spare on the three, just as he has done. He six, comes four. in with six, four. Avoid a one, guys. Avoid a one, and this game is over. Six, one. Six, one, and there <laughs> is the shot. A little bit of life. Nobody said it would be over yet. Well, we tried, but well, they certainly improved from one percent. They go for they go for the hit. The Americans go for the hit. He needs a four to hit this and keep the match alive. But he Fans. stays on the roof, and that really is the coffin <laughs> nail because there's no shot leaving Double number fours. either. This roll. This is a this is good night. This is a hatchet. Yeah. The crowd know it's over. Yeah. And the USA has won the Marty Gammon World Series of Backgammon Nations Cup, the Davis Cup of Backgammon, Woo! and they are delighted. It was a team effort. Uh, the second to the last game, of course, got very exciting with uh, us rolling double fours and uh, the bear off to win. And uh, it took a little pressure off for that last game when we had to make some of the moves. Uh, they gave us a cube early and then didn't roll one of their best rolls after that. And then we're struggling. So uh, we brought it home, and we're real happy for it, for sure. The volatility level in that last game was up to the sky. It, it just swung on uh, every roll. It's not like a physical sport. It's not like boxing, where you could, where you can duck, or tennis, where where you can throw yeah. yourself at. I mean, if if your if the rolls don't come, there's nothing you can do about it. The crucial point of this match was when Perry Gartner cubes to two. Peter Jez looks at this, scoops it up. Perry Gardner enters with a 2-6 from the bar. But then, a few rolls later, he, he, he's failed to escape his back checker, and he leaves a four shot, and Peter Jez Thompson re-cubes, and he hits the four and takes a 5-2 lead. 
So the USA are the 2006 Nations Cup champions and having defeated favorites Denmark in a thrilling finale, will be regarded as the world's leading back end team. Oh, that was excellent. We took a pass and we won! <laughs> for 2006 at least. Join us next time for the opening rounds of the second World Series of Backgammon event, the Riviera Cup.